¿Qué fue tu pensamiento inicial cuando era Split Decision? Um, la verdad, sé que fue una pelea difícil, pero sabía que había ganado. I knew it was a tough fight, but I was pretty sure that I had one. Were you surprised that one of the judges had given her two of the rounds? Estaba sorprendido cuando uno de los jueces le dieron dos dos asaltos. Sí, sinceramente sí, porque um, ella huía mucho, corría mucho y no sé qué pasó, pero pues al final del día eh, las cosas así, uno siempre tiene que tratar de de noquear o ganar la pelea contundente para que sea definitivo porque siempre pasa estos errores. Uh, in my opinion, she was running throughout the whole match and I was very surprised that they had two round wins when I had taken taken her down and also won. And honestly, next time I'm just going to look for the knockout and win even more certainly so then these errors don't happen again. I learned in the fight that you were controlling the distance very well. It looked like she tried to pick up the pace in the second, but you still managed to control the fight with your striking. Was that the game plan leading into this fight, and did it work exactly as you predicted? Eh, ella estaba moviendo bastante, pero tú controlaste los tres asaltos, e incluso en el segundo asalto, cuando ella trató de apretar un poco más, tú mantuviste la distancia y controlaste. Este era el, el game plan. Sí, eh, eh, mi, mi entrenador me dijeron que mantuviera la distancia similar a mi pelea en Singapur. Eh, sé que es una, una chica que se mueve mucho, pero a mí me gusta el contragolpe. Eh, yo no tengo problema con, con eso. Sabía que es muy rápida, pero tampoco tengo problema con eso. Mis manos también salen rápidas. I'm very fast. My hands come out just as fast. So her quick movements were weren't surprising. The game plan was just in like Singapore to maintain the distance the way I did, making her throw and then countering her on her throws. And I do have to ask about the weight miss. Was it just a miscalculation thing or was it coming down from featherweight back to band to on short notice that caused it? And just what was the situation leading into the weigh-ins? What was the situation in the peso? Oh, yes. It was a fight of two weeks and four days. La tomé porque yo sabía que podía hacer peso, ¿no? Eh, en este, en este, para este corte utilicé un método diferente eh, y parece que mi cuerpo no respondió a eso. Uh, prácticamente una semana antes de la pelea yo estaba muy cerca del peso. Pero hice un método diferente, mi cuerpo no reaccionó a eso. Simplemente queda hablar con los profesionales eh, para ver qué pasó porque faltando poco, esas 1.5 libras, eh, mi cuerpo dejó de sudar, hice todo lo posible, hice siete veces tina, que creo que ni una chica aguanta tanto eh, el corte en tina. Y no funcionó, no sudaba, dejó de sudar y pues ya al final no pude hacer nada. And for this weight cut, one, I took it on short notice with two weeks and four days. That made it difficult. But also, I tried a new method to cutting weight that was instructed to me by the professionals and nutrition specialists. I was very close to weight, actually, a week before. I was, And I tried this new method, and it was supposed to keep me sweating. And it got me up until a pound and a half, and then I just stopped sweating. I was working up until the buzzer. I did seven times an intent to cut weight in the tub. And I don't believe too many people will even try a seventh time to make weight. I tried very hard to make the weight. I just simply didn't sweat. And finally, the plan is to still stay at bantamweight, correct? El plan es mantenerte en bantamweight, cierto? Sí, yo soy 135 libras y aquí me voy a quedar. Yep, I'm 135 and I'm not going nowhere. Justin, congrats on the win. Um, where do you feel better, though, inside the, inside the fight? Do you feel better at 145 or at 135? Justin, felicidades. ¿Y tú te sientes mejor en 145 o en 135 cuando usted está peleando? En 135, definitivamente. Definitely at 135. And is the reason that you, you know, wouldn't want to stay at 145 is just because there's not, you know, a lot of contenders. We saw, you know, Juliana talk about this week at the press conference. Like, there's nobody in that division, so, you know, why continue to, you know, fight up there? La razón por qué es porque no hay nadie en la división, como mencionó Juliana, la campeona, más temprano en la semana en una entrevista, o simplemente porque desea mantener 135. 
No, um, yo antes peleaba en 125, eh, luego subí a 135 porque ya se me dificultaba hacer 125. Entonces siento que soy muy chica para 145. I used, I used to fight, fight at 125 previously, then, then I moved up to 135. I just feel like I'm a bit small for 145 to be competitive. Pero si se da la oportunidad de otra pelea en 145, que de repente alguien que le tenga miedo a su rival y y no quiera pelear, pues yo estoy para pelear siempre. But of course, if anyone is scared to fight their opponent at 145, I'll gladly fill in the spot. Just about you. How close were you to getting that arm bar? I think you took her down in the, uh, I believe, the second or third round. Did you feel like it was pretty close or you didn't really have it? ¿Qué tal cerca estaba para terminar la pelea con Panca en el segundo o tercer asalto donde la derribaste? Um, creo que sonó el... Um, no recuerdo bien esa parte, sí, la, iba a, la derribé. Um, Um, sí, mi, 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 meta, eh, mi meta era hacerle la palanca de brazo, pero bueno, no se dio, pero eso es lo que estaba buscando. My goal after I took her down was to do the armbar, but it just didn't happen. I'm not exactly sure. Did you feel more comfortable like standing up with her or were you trying to get her to take her down during the fight? ¿Te sentía más cómoda arriba intercambiando o derribada? Uh, me sentía cómoda en los dos lados. I felt very comfortable in both. He trabajado mucho lo que es la defensa de de derribo de wrestling. He trabajado mucho. Estoy entrenando en Strength Couture, donde hay muchos peleadores de alto nivel y tengo diferentes cuerpos para entrenar. Así que últimamente me he sentido muy confiada en en mantenerme abajo o arriba como sea. I've been training at Strength Couture, and we have a lot of great training partners and a lot of level. And I've been working a lot on my wrestling and grappling, and I'm very comfortable wherever the fight goes now. Thank you.